Hi everyone, Vacha here from RecordingStudio9.com and thanks for joining me again today. Today's topic is about how to share your Studio One Prime song project with your fellow musicians or friends or contributors of your song project. Because Presonus Studio One Prime is a free DAW, that means everybody can download it, that means all your fellow members of your band, musicians, or other people who are interested to contribute into your song can actually download and install it. Now, I'm going to show you a way how you can share your project and email it or Dropbox it to your friends or fellow musicians so that when they open it up, they will actually see exactly how your project was set up with everything, including the tracks, the audio tracks, the MIDI tracks, the mixer, any plugins that you used, it will be all included as if they're sitting right in front of your computer. Once we have our song loaded and it's set up the way we want it, even if we want to set this into a um, different way, into tiny or overview or so on, however we like it, they will actually see exactly the way it is. So once you've done that, Go to File and save it first. Once it's saved, then go to File again and go to Save to New Folder. Now a good place to actually save the song is probably on the desktop because you can be able to find it quite easily. And the next step is go to New Folder so we can create a new folder. Let's name it My New Song. Double click to open it up and go inside it. As you can see, it's on the desktop. My New Song. Ain't No Sunshine. Just a demo. And click Save. And let Personas Studio One Prime copy all the relevant files into that folder that we just created. Once it's done, click and close your Studio One Prime project. And on the desktop, you'll be able to see my new song. If we double click to open it, you'll be able to see that the song project file is there, the, all of the media files, any MIDI files will be there as well. I believe MIDI files are included inside the song project file. Any cache information will be there as well. Now, if we right click and look at this folder into properties, we'll actually see that it has 43 files and four folders. That means if you want to email this to your uh, friend or your fellow musicians to contribute, um, you're going to be sending 43 files. So that's quite a large number of files, as well as being, in my case, 600, just over 600 megabytes. So that's quite a large file and a lot of files. One way is to compress it into one single compressed file. And if I'm not mistaken, from Windows 7 and up, you'll be able to right click and send to compressed zipped folder. And let Windows compress all the files into one single compressed files that you'll be able to send it using Dropbox or Microsoft OneDrive or any other way that you need. Now, if you're not using a lot of WAV files, then this file will actually be quite small because MIDI is very, very small file. So, but if you are using audio files, they're quite big. Like in my case, nearly 650 megabytes. But compressing it, it should actually compress, you know, somewhere about 60%. Once it's finished compressing, we'll actually find that it created a new file. And this new file, if you right-click and look at the properties, it's only one file, and it's 400 or 500 megabytes. So that's much smaller than the 650 that I had. So certainly we are saving just under 200 megabytes. And then all you need to do is either email this or Dropbox it or um, 
um, Microsoft OneDrive it, however you want to send it. And when they receive it, double click on it, you see my new song folder, and then all the files and folders are within it. They just have to right click and say extract all. And it's done. And when they open it, they'll be able to see exactly what you had on the screen when you saved it last time. So that they can do their own recording and save it and do the same thing and email it back to you. And then you'll have whatever they've recorded as well. And then you can do the final mixing and the mastering. I hope this was helpful. If it was, give me the thumbs up. That way I know it was useful for you. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you'll be kept up to date with any new video that I upload. And until next time, as always, thanks for watching. Cheerio.